Today we'll be talking about obtaining and retaining employment for people in recovery. I work with uh, unemployed people. That's my, uh, my focus, people who are uh, in shelters or uh, receiving welfare benefits. When we find out that they uh, have mental health or substance abuse issues, then we find that the substance abuse is uh, a barrier to the employment, but a lack of employment is a barrier to their recovery. So it's get a job, get a better job, get a career, and at the same time, addressing all of their barriers, whether they're mental health or substance abuse. People in recover from mental health and substance abuse, they really are an asset. And the asset is that you're getting someone who's going to be very committed. And the reason is because they've been through a trying time in their lives. Just because we're recovering addicts doesn't mean that we don't want to work. We're recovering addicts that want to work. You know, we want to be a productive member to society. Whether it took us 35 years to do it, it really doesn't matter. But if somebody's going to give me the opportunity to go out there and be productive, then let me do it. You know, don't judge me because of my past. You know, it's not who I was, it's who I am. We are sick people who can get well. We are not bad people who have to get good. As sick people, we sometimes do bad things. It doesn't make us bad people. And I've said that a million times to many, many, many of my clients, and that has really made a difference.